What is going down? I'm Sammy Goldberg. Welcome to Respect the Chain. And right now we're here at All Antico Vinayo. They have brought the taste of Florence right here to New York City. They are bringing the culture, the vibe of Florence and mixing it with that New York energy, which is why what we're going to do today is we are actually going to make the New Yorker. So I'm excited. So you guys actually have a New Yorker sandwich on the menu that's not in Florence. We do. Yes, it's not in Florence. It's roast beef. In Florence, we have something similar. It's called carpaccio, but it's not the, the roast beef. Roast beef is our signature sandwich. Indeed, it's called New Yorker. So the bread is called schiacciata. It's uh, similar to focaccia bread, but it's a way crunchier than focaccia bread. It's made in a different way, of course, and it's typical of Tuscany, of Florence in particular. This means press. Right? Yes, uh, means press, uh, the perfect translation is press. So if I got a focaccia and I did like CPR motions on it, would that turn it into <laughs> scacciata? Yeah. So you got to CPR the focaccia. Yes. Vada come la fuma. Look how it steams. Uh, we have this fresh cream, it's called onion porcini cream. Porcini is a kind of mushroom that we import from Italy. And onion, of course. So the porcini is the type of mushroom. Does that make you hallucinate at all? Is there any hallucination? No, we always say I like her. I knew I liked Roberta. So now you're cutting up the tomatoes. And then we have, of course, the vegetables are all fresh and they add like freshness to the sandwich. And the roast beef. And we actually make the roast beef here every day. Salt and pepper. That looks good. I'm feeling like I'm in Florence. I'm not in New York anymore. I'm feeling the vibes. And then fresh olive oil, of course, from Italy as well. And our New Yorker is ready. This is the New Yorker. I mean, I think if there was a face to the New Yorker with a New York accent, it should be me. This sandwich is gigantic. Just take a look at this. The schiacciata is thin, it's crispy, and it allows the other ingredients to shine through within the sandwich. What's so great about the sandwich also is that onion porcini, you get that creaminess from the sauce on top, you get that beautiful roast beef, every bite, every texture, it takes you in. It's almost as if you're in Florence. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna close my eyes and imagine I'm in Florence. Oh, whoa, take a look at this. We're at the original location. We are here right now in Florence. Look at these lines. This is pretty unbelievable. We're actually gonna go inside and we're gonna make one of the original sandwiches. This is on the list of yes. all the destinations you gotta go to in Florida. Yeah, it's a must. It's a must? Yes. So why is everybody lining up for hours to get one of these sandwiches? So I think the secret of the sandwich is the schiacciata bread. Whoa. The homemade bread, schiacciata. Uh, we make it here every day. Uh, it's a typical bread of Tuscany. So it's uh, handmade, hand pressed. So you, so you see it has like, some holes in it. So these are all fingers. Those are your hand marks? Yes. Every hole is actually <laughs> you, you? Mateo? It's your hand me. marks? It's not, it's not me, but like <laughs> some of them. Yes. Okay. What does all antico vinayo actually mean in English? It means like the old winery. The uh, old winery. Because we used to sell, used to be a very small shop and just sell some crostini, some small focaccia and wine. Uh, and now it became famous like You're all over the place. Yeah. In New York City, we actually made the New Yorker. Okay. And the New Yorker was great. Roberta showed us all about the New Yorker, but she said there's a differentiation in Florence. We do the, we, we do the Dante with the Carpaccio. It's another version. Carpaccio is raw beef. Look at that. Wow, yes. that's it. I like, you know what? I like my beef rare. <laughs> Might as well eat it raw. So yes, the Dante is with stracchino cheese. And what, this is cow this cheese? This is cow cheese. That looks really creamy. Thank you. You're gonna put some truffle sauce, tartufo. Then you're gonna put some rucola. You're gonna slice some tomatoes. Why is it called the Dante? So Dante is a poet. He used to be a poet from Florence. Uh, yeah. About like seven, eight hundred years ago, and it's made us famous all around the world. So it's a, a gift that we remember him. We remember the Dante yes, with the capaccio. The, yes. And that's one sandwich. This is one of the must-have sandwiches. It is well known all around the world. But when you're in Florence, you gotta get your Florentine steaks rare and you gotta get your beef raw, which is why they serve this with capaccia. This sandwich is the official staple of Florence. What's so great about the sandwich are the textures, the creaminess from the cheese, you get that beef, and then the condiments here are pretty unbelievable. They actually create very unique and different condiments for each sandwich that they make. When you come to Florence, this is definitely a place you gotta stop by. So you're here at Atlantico Vinayo in Florence. You're watching Respect the Chain. Bada come la fuma!